Moran, you want to take the roll, please? Mr. Gretchen? Here. Ms. Rusko? Here. Mr. Jepson? Here. Dr. King? Here. Mr. Walsh? Here. Mr. Welch? Here. Mr. Cindy? Here. I just want to let you know that per our board policy, John Keene, who was called into work uh, for emergency, is uh, on the phone line and per policy and per state regs, he can do, uh, do that to participate in the vote. All right, at this time we have visitor statements. Uh, the Board of Education welcomes and encourages the participation of its citizens in the business of the school district. Thank you for your attendance. Citizens are welcome to ask questions or make comments. Comments will be limited to three minutes. If a person would like additional time to address the board, such a request should be submitted in writing 48 hours before the meeting to the superintendent. For more details, please refer to board policy 2 colon 230, public participation at board of education meetings and petitions to the board. At this time, do we have any uh, uh, speakers on this side? Anybody on this side? All right, on the agenda, it said uh, we would move to closed session. We are not going to do that. And so we are uh, in the process right now of uh, going to look and ratify and uh, take a vote on the contract. Um, before we start on this, um, uh, I would like to make some comments and talk about the contract itself. So on behalf of the Board of Education, I want to commend all of the participants in the negotiation process for their dedication, collaborative efforts in the finalizing of this agreement. I would also like to especially thank Wendy uh, Cassens and members of the RBA negotiating team. This is my fifth year being a school board member, and I have to admit that at times the relationship between the board and the RBA has not always been positive. My experiences going through this process have provided me a different perspective of the RBA. I truly believe that they are committed to the students of this high school and the community, and that they want what is best for the future of Riverside Brookfield High School. They show this by working with the board to come up with a fair, equitable bargaining agreement. Now let's talk about the agreement. The agreement uh, maintains the statue of our highly accomplished and respected teaching staff and employees and sustains the board's budget and long range financial goals. The agreement meets the following goals. It allows the board to maintain its commitment to building its operating fund balance. It includes cost containments and cost reduction measures in the district's employee health insurance plans and establishes a percentage contribution by employees toward health insurance pre premiums without increasing the employee's cost for health insurance. Restructured, uh, we restructured the retirement incentive for teacher retirees, which eliminates all incentives for those teachers who retires, whose retirements result in a penalty for the district. Starting with the 2014-15 school year, Several of the extracurricular stipend positions that were previously reduced due to budget cuts will be reinstated. The cap on the use of volunteers to assist with extracurricular programs will be dissolved. For the 2013-2014 school year, this allows teachers to advance a step on the old 2012-2013 salary schedule, but, not, but does not otherwise increase teachers' compensation and provides educational support personnel with a 3.5% increase in wages. For the 2014-15 school year, teachers will not receive an increase in compensation. The increase for the educational support uh, personnel employees is tied to the consumer price index. For the 2015-2016 school year, teachers' compensation increases on the salary schedule will be tied to a percentage of CPI. The increase for educational support personnel is tied to CPI. Mr. Gritchen, would you like to summarize some of the financial impacts of this agreement? For the, for the three years, um, we, for, for the, the life of the contract, we anticipate that the cost, annual cost is under 2% a year for the district. Um, with, the, with the teachers taking a hard freeze the second year, it helps significantly to keep these costs contained. Uh, with their willingness to um, look at some of the health insurance and negotiate some of the, be willing to take some concessions on some of the benefits in the health insurance, those two items help drive the overall cost of this contract pretty significantly, and we uh, thank the teachers for doing that. Okay, um, at, at this point, do I have a motion to approve this agreement? Gary, you want to do it? Or 
was I'll get the Board of Education Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, approves the collective bargaining agreement between the Board of Education of Riverside Brookfield Township High School District 208 and the Riverside Brookfield Education Association, IEA-NEA, for a three-year period beginning July 1, 2013 through June 30, 2016, as presented at the December 18, 2013 Committee of the Whole and Special Meeting. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Tim Walsh. Any discussion? No, um, I'd like to make comment. Ms. Cassins, please uh, share with your bargaining committee and teachers that, um, a thank you from the board member. Uh, it was outstanding professionalism. This is a, a job that hasn't been done in many years to go through the contract like that. And I recognize as a board member, as many of us do, that the teaching staff that has been here the longest have made some significant contributions to this contract. Um, and everybody had to work hard to come up with unique solutions for these economic times. And I just want to extend a thank you for the hard work that uh, the bargaining committee and all the teachers did to make this happen. Any other discussion? All right, seeing none, Marianne, can you please go for the vote? Mr. Gretchen? Yes. Ms. Tresca? Yes. Mr. Jepson? Yes. Dr. Keene? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. Mr. Cindy? Yes. That is a unanimous, unanimous vote for the board approving this contract. So at this uh, point of the meeting, we're going to go to adjournment, but at that time period, Wendy will come up and Wendy and me will sign the contract to make it in place and make the agreement final. So um, we thank you all for listening in tonight uh, for this uh, hearing. We look forward to be working with the RBEA and making sure that RB remains a very great school both for the community and also for the students that attend us. So do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Moved by Mike Welch. Second. second. Second by Ed Jepson. Any discussion? Marianne. Ms. Tresca? Yes. Mr. Jepson? Yes. Dr. King? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. Mr. Gritchen? Yes. Cindy? Yes. All right. Thank you very much for coming tonight.